So this is the next project, a early 2000s transport truck that uh, we just spent all day sandblasting. Good buddy Brian Warren, 67 years old, sandblasted for seven hours straight. And uh, so I'm getting ready to paint, just waiting for the wind to die down a little bit. I'm out behind my shop here. We're gonna put some nice glossy black on it, keep MTO off her back and uh, do fix whatever else needs to be fixed at the same time. Here we go. Now you guys how to get your tank looking from this to this. You know it's not perfect, it's an old farm tractor. We're just sprucing it up a little bit. So we're gonna start with a brown clay bar. I'm almost out. And a slower RPM grinder and a coarse pad. I'll put the clay bar in a vise. What's left of it? Clay bar and vise. As you can see on the pad, this is all aluminum that you're taking off and uh, you don't want that in your lungs or your eyes. So we want to spin, put a little bit of material on the on the pad, not too much, and then go nice and slow with a slow RPM, a uh, medium pressure, and uh, medium speed. These pads come in different colors, different court means they're different strength. Um, so you start with a coarse and then uh, work your way down to uh, white, which is very soft. You can find these at most truck shops. You won't find them in the hardware stores. Uh, shops like Mac or Freightliner, they usually have them on the shelf for the guys that like to keep their trucks nice and clean. Um, the clay bars are harder to find. Um, detail shops might, might let them go. We can buy these small ones at Canadian Tire here in uh, Canada. We've started with washing the truck with uh, first by hand, then we acid wash the tank, and then we wiped it down with 200 and then 400 grit sandpaper, and then you're ready for the buffer. So it's a slow process, but it's well worth it. show you guys how to clean up a, an old bump, bumper and uh, try to get a bit of shine out again. Um, a lot of people use SOS pads uh, and that's okay, they do a decent job but it is steel wool. So when these little fibers come off and when you're rubbing and, and it gets on uh, other paint, um, they will start to rust if you, uh, if you use them. So what I like to do is these Brunelling pads, um, pretty coarse and a little bit of Diet Coke. You want to use Diet Coke because the acidity is a lot higher than regular Coke. And just put a little uh, Coke on the pad at a time and then just clean it off. And we did wash the truck yesterday, but it is a transport truck. It got dirty again just from pressure washing, leftover salt from the engine and everything got back on it again. So the Coke will actually take all a little bit of rust and, and everything right off. And just let it sit in the coat there for a couple minutes. Let the coat do its stuff. And I see this rust here building up. Okay, now we're just gonna take some tin foil, shiny side down, and dip it in warm water and just rub that on. You'll see the, the black start to come off of the bumper and the tin, the tin foil, the shiny stuff actually embeds in all the imperfections in the steel and you end up with a pretty nice shine afterwards. I'll show you guys how to take this glue off. Oh, somebody's tried to take this off with a razor. You can see the paint chips. They actually took the paint right off. If you take a little torch and you just warm it up or a heat gun or a hair dryer and then a razor, you can take this glue off with it. But if the glue is left behind, you can use medium reducer or paint thinner, which works pretty decent. Just wear gloves and a mask, it's pretty nasty stuff. 
and you can just wipe it right off. So this is our uh, mid early 2000s uh, transport truck. It's got over a million cl clicks on it, and the paint just if you can if you can hear that it just feels like sandpaper. Um, not so we're gonna try and buff a little bit of this paint out. Uh, not that it's a show car or anything fancy, but um, when when it's when it's rough like this, it holds dirt really easy too. So uh, we painted the back, we're going to clean up the tanks and clean up the rims a bit and we're just going to buff his paint, not spend too long of a time on it, but um, yeah, here we go. So this is a medium co rubbing compound, so if you feel this, um, it's got a little bit of grit in it, when, not much, just a little bit. So what you're doing is taking a rough pad very slowly. Um, you don't want it to spin too fast, so this worn out uh, sander works perfect for that. So we're starting with paint wise, we start with a rougher pad, a wool pad with, a, with an abrasive compound, medium grit to, uh, to, like it's not horrible, horrible, it's not like it's been sitting in the scrapyard for 30 years, but the, the paint's rough enough that we take this wool pad with a medium compound, what we're doing is taking off the, the high uh, unevenness of the paint bringing that down and when your paint is nice and smooth that's when you get that shine so this buff is taking this uh, the compounds doing two things uh, you gotta be uh, you have to spin your pad slowly and don't run over it quickly in the spinning slow and you want to move slow to work the compound in get the paint warm enough that the compound kind of blends with the paint and it shaves the high spots off of the paint in the, uh, in the first place to start. You don't need too much compound, just a little line, it's plenty. If your pad is dry, um, it helps to just prime the pad a little bit so when you start you don't uh, have a rough pad or a dry pad on the paint. So we've got the first coat, the, the rough buff done. Uh, we're gonna grab our grinder that goes a little faster and we're using a lot smoother compound now. Um, what we're doing, uh, I like the McGuire stuff. Uh, I've had good luck with it. What we're trying to get rid of now is the buff marks that our previous buffer got uh, left behind. So you see the swirls or uh, spider web they call it. Um, and, and so we're gonna do it at a much faster speed we're not going to travel as fast with the grinder, but the, the grinder itself is going to go a lot faster. So we're going to prime our, our pad. Not too much. And just a little line across. Uh, we're not going to do the very edges. It's very easy to, to burn the paint off of the edges because uh, the pad gets stuck on it and you don't want to do that. Um, and also down below, just do it by hand scruff it by hand, uh, also around all the decals and everything else. Um, if it's a car, you want to tape everything off. This is just a transport truck um, that's got uh, high mileage on it. We just want to clean it up for uh, a 10 foot paint job. So here we go. Fancy car, you want to use a microfiber cloth, but they're expensive. And I have this land in the house, so. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this cornfield Cadillac is ready to be put to work with the buff and the polish and the cleaning and the service and the painting uh, along with minor repairs should keep MTO happy and should do its job uh, hauling all those beans out uh, this coming fall. We're getting the B trains ready. They'll be uh, ready next week. We'll show that video and uh, here we go. So follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich. <laughs>